The instrument was built in, in Holland uh, by an organ builder named Dirk Flintrop. Um, Dirk Flintrop modeled this instrument and all the instruments that he built uh, on instruments that Bach actually played. So he went and looked at the designs of these European instruments that, um, that had great historical value and uh, modeled instruments, and this was in the 20th century, so this particular instrument, 1967, was built and installed. But he modeled it after an instrument that was built in the 16th, 1700s. Modern organs would have pistons and they'd have presets so I could hit a button and it would adjust all the stops. This instrument does not have that. It is decidedly a, a manual instrument. And it's all mechanical, so when I hit a note, I'm actually moving what's known as a tracker. So I push down a key, which moves uh, a tracker, which is a rod, which opens a pallet and lets air flow into a pipe. There's a latency with electro-pneumatic instruments where you, you're actually pressing a switch, which is an electric switch. That electric switch goes to a solenoid and it takes time for the electronics to open up the valve. And you don't really control how quickly or slowly that valve's gonna open up. Whereas on a tracker instrument, you can control that with touch. But the fascinating thing about this instrument is that it really is modeled after something that would have been played back in 1700. There's a connection between E. Power Biggs and this church. E. Power Biggs is a very famous organist. He uh, had consulted on what kind of organ this church should purchase back in the 60s. And he was also associated with the uh, Harvard instrument. He made a number of very famous recordings on the Flintrop at Harvard. So he consulted and recommended that the, the New Unitarian Church here in New Bedford purchase a, a Flintrop. Approximate number around 1,500 pipes. All need to be tuned properly. It's a big deal maintaining the instrument. There are um, about 25 stops on the instrument. The stops that control the upper manual are this bank right here. And the stops that control the bottom manual are on my right. So I have the, what's known as the Hauptwerk is controlled with the left bank of stops. And the Ruck Positive is the right set of stops. chance to see an organ up close and actually stand amongst an organ where you have pipes behind you and in front of you, I challenge you to find something that would be as amazing an experience as standing in the middle of an organ while it's being played, where every pipe is coming from a different location. I play one note, I play another note, and they're happening all over the room. There is no technology that can even come close to comparing with what you get with this living, breathing instrument.